Hi everyone, it's Lindy Dion from Pink Whisper Designs. Today we're going to create a really cute birthday card. This could also be an anniversary card as well if you change out the sentiments. And then we're going to create this acetate window and we'll be using several products from the Art Impressions collection. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the set of images we're using today and this is called the Perfect Duet. And we're going to be using that little dancing couple, the boom box. But I did want to show you that it has a lot of cute coordinating sentiments as well. So let's go ahead and start our stamping. We're using the VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then I'm using my Stampendable stamp press to press that out. So I'm inking up the stamp. I've placed some Strathmore Bristol Smooth 100 pound cardstock in my Misty stamp positioner and we'll go ahead and stamp this. Now for coloring, I'm starting off with the wine red and we're using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens to do our coloring. Now I know a lot of times I'll say to add the red last because the red can bleed a little bit. I don't know, I seem to have some problems sometimes with the red. But after you color the section of red, if you do want to use it first, let it dry really well before you go to your other colors. Or just select another area to color in and avoid that red for a little bit until it's completely dry. And I really wanted to see how her dress was going to look. I was so anxious to color this in that I just went for it right out of the gate. So I'll Again, I'm using the Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pens, and I'm using the Zig Blender Pen to do my blending. Now, you could certainly use a water brush here as well. I'll use that same wine red on her slippers. And I'm just adding a little bit of shadow here and there, kind of down along the bottom edge of the slippers, and then pulling it up towards the top. Now later on, we'll be using a white gel pen to add a few highlights here and there. So don't worry too much if your highlighting isn't just perfect. We can use that white gel pen to add some additional highlighting. I've got the light gray and I'm just adding it to the socks. And then I'm going to add that to their hair. And you'll notice I'm listing those colors in the upper left hand corner as we're going along. And now for his pants, I've switched, switched to the beige color. Again, just adding a few shadows. If you get too much ink on your image, you can just scribble it onto your scrap paper. So just pull it off the image and scribble it onto your scrap paper. And you do want to clean that blender pen off in between colors. Now I've got the sugared almond pink. I'm going to place that on their cheeks. And then to do the skin tone, I'm going to be using the flesh color. Keep in mind that all of the products I'm using today are listed and linked down below and also on my blog. And if you enjoy these little couples, I just think they're so cute. They're so much fun. Uh, I have done a few other videos using the couples. One was a happy anniversary easel card. And on that one, I did a brayering technique. So you may want to check that out if you haven't created an easel card or seen one. It's where when you open up the card, it sits upright. It sits upright on the table. So that's really fun. And then the brayering technique, I'll give you a few tips and tricks on doing some brayering. And then I also did a see-through acetate tent fold card where the acetate, we're going to be using acetate today in the window, but for the tent fold card, I had the acetate in between some clouds. So it kind of looks like the couple is floating on clouds and then you can see through to the inside of the card. So that was really fun as well. Again, I'll list and link those down below for you. And for this particular set, you do get a lot of sentiments that coordinate with this. One is, it's not the years in your life, it's the life in your years. Happy anniversary to the perfect duet. Still grinning from year to year. Perfect partners, you're the one that I love. So some really cute, I love that these sets have the greatest sentiments that go with them. 
I'm going to create a birthday card today. So I'm going to go to a different set and I'll show you that here as we come up to that section where we're going to do the sentiment. So again, I'm just going to quickly color in this little boom box and I'm going to keep it in kind of a gray brown color and then I'll add a few little highlights of green and I think I'll add a bit of red to this. Now you could certainly do this boom box in some really cute colors, some fun colors. And this little boom box could be used for other cards as well if you want to do to do some kind of a musical card. You could do them in several different colors. A rainbow of colors would be really fun. So keep in mind that some of these smaller images from these sets are perfect to do some of your other cards. Now I'm using my Signal white gel pen and here's where I'm going to add some polka dots to her dress. You could add some stripes or color in some little flowers. And then as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to use that white gel pen just to add a few highlights here and there. Now I've got my detail scissors. This set does not come with the coordinating dies, so I am going to cut these out and I'm going to leave a little white border all the way around. So that'll make it really easy to cut these out. Once that was all set, I'm just going to add a little pink to her earrings and to that boom box. And then I grabbed the haze blue just to add a little kind of shadowing around the sound coming out of the boom box. Now I've got the largest die from the rectangle A2 double stitch dies from Art Impressions. And for paper, I'm using the Art Impressions Valentine Journal Series paper pad. And this is some really pretty paper. These are double sided papers. It's a six by six paper pack but you can see that there's plenty of designs in here that could be used all year round. Some really great plaids. We're going to grab that green and white plaid and then that little heart background and then this red pattern to do the floor area. So let's go ahead and run both of these through the die cutting machine. And for the red panel, I just need a small section for the bottom of my card. And the reason I'm running all of these through is I want to make sure they all have that pretty stitch border all the way around. Let's create the card base. I'm, I'm going to create an A2 size card. So this piece of paper measures eight and a half by five and a half, and we'll score it at four and a quarter. So let's go ahead and attach this panel to the front of the card just temporarily. I'm going to use my post-it tape and I'll just take a strip of it and just temporarily attach this plaid paper to the front of the card. I've got my journal template die set and this is part of the watercolor series and this is designed to create this really fun journal. But we're just going to use that little window. It's really not even a window. It's just a little frame, but we're going to use that to create the window for our card. And you can see all the really great dies that you get in that set. So I'll line this up up towards the top of the card, maybe about three quarters of an inch from the top of the card, and then I'll center it. Again, I've got some of that post-it tape and I'm going to tape this down. I'll run it through a couple of times just to make sure that I cut all the way through both layers of cardstock. And now I can remove that plaid paper. And you want to remember not to attach that plaid paper to your card and then run it through your die cutting machine because we have to add that acetate in between those two layers to create our window. And by taping this in place, if it didn't die cut all the way through both layers, you have it taped down so you can run that through again if you need to. And I'm going to die cut a second one of those frames for the inside of the card. So let's go ahead and run that through the Spellbinders Platinum 6 die cutting machine. And now for acetate, I'm using the Lawn Fawn Clear Acetate Sheets. I've cut that down to 
five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I'm using the one quarter inch Lawn Fawn double sided tape to attach the acetate to this front of the card. So we'll go ahead and remove that backing. I'm just using my Cricut weeder tool. I like to just press down that backing and then lift it with that little pick tool and it comes off really easily that way. You want to line this up really well on the front of the card. And now I can go ahead and attach the plaid. I'm using my Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive and I've placed it all around the back. And the reason I used the glue here instead of the tape is just so I could move it around a little bit if I need to. I'm going to place something heavy on that and let that dry. Once that was dry, I've got that 1 8 inch double sided tape from Lawn Fawn. This will fit perfectly inside the little panels on this window frame. And here I'm using the tape because sometimes when you use the glue and you're attaching something to acetate, that glue can get on the acetate and then it's very difficult to remove it. So I'm going to use that tape. It'll keep things nice and clean. I'm popping that window frame right back into place. And since we have that acetate there, we have a nice place for that window frame to sit. Now I didn't want that adhesive to show from the other side, so I've placed some tape on this window frame and I'm going to lay it on the inside of the card. Again, it'll pop right into place. Now let's add that heart panel, those cute little hearts for the inside of the card. And again, that'll have that pretty stitched frame all around the edge. I'm going to line this up right along that score line. And now for the floor. Again, we have the stitch border on three sides of this panel. But I want to have it sit below that window frame. So I'm just going to cut away a little bit of that excess. And I'll just cut it down so that it's just below that window frame. So we can go ahead and check that, and that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the inside of the card. And then for the sentiment, I'm going to be using the Be Happy Laugh Lines set. And you've got some really great happy sentiments on this set. I'm going to grab a couple of these for the card. And you can see you have a lot of cute ones. There's even a Dance It Out one on this particular set. So this coordinates really well with what we're doing today. Going back to that journal template die set, and I've grabbed that little banner die. So for the sentiment on the front of the card, it will say, get your happy on. And then for the inside of the card, the sentiment will say, you don't stop dancing when you get old, you get old when you stop dancing. And that is so true. So I'm going to just take some scrap leftover Bristol Smooth cardstock that I had. I've placed it in the Misty Stamp Positioner and I'm going back to that VersaFine Onyx Black Ink to do my stamping. Now you'll notice that that banner die isn't quite long enough for that larger sentiment. So I'll show you how we're going to remedy that situation. So I've got the banner die. It fits perfectly on this sentiment. So let's tape that down with some post-it tape and run that through the Sizzix Sidekick machine. And then for this larger sentiment, I'm going to cut this in sections. So I'm lining up that banner die with the left hand side of the sentiment. We'll tape that down with the post-it tape and we're only going to partially run this through the die cutting machine. So I'm only going to cut up to that little area right there. Now remember where your plate is is where you're cutting. So I've placed the plate over where I want to create the cut lines and you can see that there. Now I'm going to move that banner die off to the right hand side and I'm going to kind of lock it into place with what I've already die cut. 
And then once I feel like it's locked into place, I'm going to tape it down. And now we're just going to cut the other half. We don't want to cut the whole thing because that will cut the sentiment in half. So we're going to line up that top plate just right about to there. And then we'll go ahead and run that through. So again, keep in mind where your top plate is lined up is where you're going to be doing your cutting. So now we have both of these ready to go. I've got some small little square foam uh, dots, double-sided foam dots, and I'm going to go ahead and place plenty of those on the back of the sentiment. And then I'm going to center that a little bit below the window because I want to leave some room here for the boom box. And here I'm going to add some tape. I've got that 1 8 inch double-sided tape, but you could certainly use your glue here. I'll just cut away that excess and then we can attach that. I wanted to keep the sentiment flat for the inside of the card. I didn't want to create too much bulk. So we'll place that down and I'm just centering that. Now here's where I wasn't exactly sure where that boom box was going to go. I thought it would be on the inside of the card, but then I didn't like how it looked when you look through the card. I didn't really like seeing that there. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue down this little dancing couple. And I'm going to not attach it completely yet. I just want to see where I am in that window before I press it into place. And now I can go ahead and press that down. And then again, I'm still looking at that little boom box trying to figure out what I want to do. And then I thought on the front would be adorable, kind of sitting up on top of that sentiment. So either way would work, whatever you prefer would be fine. I'm going to pop it in place here. I'll grab some scotch foam mounting tape and I just want to place it at the bottom of the boom box. I don't want it to show on the inside of the card. So if I place it right along the bottom, the part that pops up over top will not, there will not be tape there and won't show through and I'm just checking that there. And you can see that. Let's add a few little hearts. These are from Dress My Craft. This is the pastel pink heart droplet set. And you do get a few different sizes in this set. So I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. We'll go ahead and pop three of these in the upper right hand corner. And that will coordinate really well with the paper on the inside of the card. I'm just using my little pickup tool to place those down. Adding a little drop of the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive and then popping those into place. So let's take a look at the finished card. And again, these little couples are so cute. Don't forget to check out a few videos that I've linked down below. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss a single video. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. And I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.